as you are aware today we were the fire service together with other security agencies were able to put off the fire now we are here for stakeholders meeting NADMO is a coordinating agency so when it happens we have to come for a stakeholders meeting we are here with all stakeholders the honorable member of parliament for the area we've had a lot of discussion and the conclusion is this that the market women, the affected women and men and women are still going to stay out of the market to allow proper investigation to know the root cause of the whole thing. This is the fourth time it has happened and we cannot move forward as a nation without identifying what really is the cause. So we need to look at the cause and then we look at how we sit down with the uh, uh, market management executives to put out preventive measures so that these things does not uh, occur again. So that is exactly what we are doing. So we've given them up to Monday. M by Monday, all the reports will be ready. We will come and meet here. We are not meeting at our offices. We are coming to meet here with the market executives, and then we all come out with the way forward. So we'll be closing the market from now to Monday. Now, you, you've said this is the fourth time this yes. incident is occurring. Yes. And it seems to suggest to me that they seem to get lapses within the system. What assurances are we getting this time round that after investigation? The, 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 the assurances are that. We are not just going to say we've put off the fire so they should go and then do uh, uh, their work. They should wait until we get all the reports, different reports from different agencies so that we put them together and we will meet here. We're going to involve the market women themselves as to whatever we want to move forward with. Earlier reports also suggested that four persons died out of this incident. Can you confirm that for us? As far as I'm concerned, there's no single death record or even any serious casualty. But the, the women, they have lost most of their things in their shops were burned. But human casualty, no. So Monday when you come uh, having a meeting, so it means that you still not open the market? I can't say yes or no. The report will determine what we have to do. The key issue here is to make sure we put preventive measures in place so that it doesn't happen again. Today we didn't record any death. Tomorrow it might be 100 death. And you know what happened in this Kwame Nkrumah circle here, as far as disaster is concerned in the history of this country. We don't want to experience that again. So you mentioned that um, this has happened four times. You yes. all know that the market is congested. Yes. Um, what have you done? They are all part of the, the recommendation that will come for us to Certainly, uh, this is a discussion I had with the uh, the market executives as well. And as the director general mentioned, when officer, when a, a, a situation like this happens, you need to involve the stakeholders. They are the stakeholders. They have a right to know. And sometimes the worry is, you know, do you keep it closed? The market closed? They, they will complain. There'll be protestations. But the fact that if we communicate effectively, and they are part of the process, and they understand that this is for their safety then they, they can understand the reasons why we're doing what we're doing. It, it, a lot of it comes down to communication. And if people understand why we're doing what we're doing, then they don't feel that we're trying to sabotage their efforts to earn a daily living. You know, some of the issues here that the fire service um, encountered are the fact that we don't have any hydrants. These are some of the issues that must be, uh, you know, looked at and need to be, you know, dealt with and processed. You know, access to the market was difficult. You know, if you enter the market, some of the passageways are so narrow that we're actually thankful that this did not happen during market hours because that may have caused uh, may, maybe injuries or death because trying to escape you know people there may have been a stampede you know so you know we were not happy that it happened but we're thankful that there were no casualties and it happened at a time when there were no other people in there you know and um, you know there are a lot of things that are not being done properly and we are going to offer our support to the executives to enforce some of these things because otherwise like the DG said today there were no deaths but there might be if we allow this to happen again. A lot of work needs to be done. And as you can see, there's a big collaborative team here. You know, the NADMO is here, AMA is here, police are here, the fire service, BNI, I am here, the market executives are here, you yourselves are, as media are here. I think if we can all work together, we can help to prevent this from happening. This should be a wake-up call and give us an idea on how to make sure this is not happening anywhere else.